Hi friends, here is Lopez. Welcome to Test and Tutorials Point. And today we are going to discussing about the if statements in C sharp.net. Basically, we have the if we are going to use a piece of code execution for that. When the certain condition is true, then we need to execute the piece of code in the block. Uh, that is that's why we are using the ifs condition. Means see I have in the a equal to 10 and b equal to 5. Then here I'm going to use if a equal to a equal to b. Then if this condition is true, I want to execute one piece of code into the in this block. If it is false, I need to jump into the outside, then I, I want to execute the code. Remaining statement or all the statements are presented after the block, those things need to be executed. If it is false, if it is true, then first I need to be executed this code and then it is going to outside of the code. Right. The same way, if else block also think like else block, if it is false, then it will not execute this piece of code it will jump into the else block it will execute the inside the else block code then it will go for the outside if there is no else block it will jump for the outside of the if block then it will execute the piece of code the same way if else if condition a equal to equal to b if both are true then it will execute the inside this otherwise it will jump to else block and it will execute. First, exu first it will check top one, whether it is true or false. If it is false, then it will jump into the if else block and it will check true or false. Then it will go for the here. If it is false, then it will check this condition and it will execute this code. If it is false, then it will jump to else block and it will execute here. Okay, <clears throat> we have another condition is nested if else condition. We need to use the inside the if block and else block. The same way we need to use if it is satisfied here, then we need to check inside the if block there is an nested if else. See, in this block also, if it is satisfied, then it will execute inside this one or else it will jump else and it will execute here and it will come for the out of the if block condition outside the if block right now how it will works we'll see one by one we'll see that now my condition is console dot white console dot white line I'm going to inside if block. Okay. The same thing I'm going to do for the outside. Because it is executing the outside of block or not, we need to set it. Outside if or outside block. Okay. Now I'm going to run. I will check that. What are the things it will execute? If it is false, I need to execute only outside the block only. Because we given the value equal to a equal to 10 and b equal to 5. It need to be executed only outside the right line code only. Whenever it is the first time it is running, right? It will take some time and it will give the output. But once it is executed, it will start for the execution fastly and it will give the output. See outside the block. Means this is false. Due to that, it is executed here, right? Now else block will check. Same. this is not if block it's the else block now it need to be executed else block then it will execute the outside the block code
so inside the else block and outside the block both because it is a false in case if it is true it will execute inside the if then it will go for the outside but it will not execute the else block inside the if outside the block correct now i'll explain you for the if else block else if and i will make it as c as the one variable extra value five then i will give the five here i will take the b equal to equal to c then here inside the else if and once it is satisfy this one and it will execute this code and it will go for the outside so now it will execute only if else block else if block and it will execute the outside correct now we have the nested if else conditions the same thing i will like copy paste next next i'll see if inside the else if okay because we need to understand whether it is coming or not right now our condition need to be 10 here so we need to check whether the another value equal to equal to true or not right for that c equal to 10 i'll mention then b equal to c see inside the if block only it is executed means first it, this one it is executed it is not executed the else block inside right because it is true condition then i will mention the 5 then i will mention here 5 see here it will come for the it will come here and it will execute this code inside the else if and outside the block that's all about the if else condition if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you